Hey family, it's the Mobile Home Diva and in today's video, we are going to be touring this tiny home. Now this is the casita, you guys. Listen, this is my first time touring a tiny home and I am in love. So let's not do a whole lot of talking. We're gonna get right into it. Okay, first things first, this is the first home that we're gonna to be touring today. Again, the name of this home, you guys, is the Casita. The Casita is 419 square feet of living. And man, I went in and checked this home out uh, prior to turning on the camera. And when I tell you this house has everything that you need, this house has everything that you need. We'll try to walk around and kind of show you what the exterior of the home looks like. Um, again, this is the Casita. Now there are a couple models that we're gonna look at today. Uh, this is the back of the home. There are a couple models that we're gonna look at, at today. They have three showroom models. So we're gonna take a look at all three. Make sure you stay tuned for the series so you can see everything these tiny homes have to offer. When I tell you, it's everything you need, you guys. This home is everything that you need. Okay, so we did a complete walk around of the casita. This is the front porch from the outside. Now let's go take a look at the inside. First things first though, Here's your front porch. You have all of the space up here for front porch living. I can see two rockers and a table out here. Maybe a little plant on the table. Just so cute, so stinking cute. Like my husband told me, you guys, that if we hadn't gotten this home, he would have wanted a tiny home. And I'm, I'm really feeling like we should have got one because we don't use half of our house. So just a thought for you guys looking for simple living, consider a tiny home. All right, this is the front door. Let's go. Hi family, just a reminder, I do not work for the manufacturer of this home. I tour these homes because I love touring homes. If you have any questions about finding this home, pricing or specification, all the information I have will be in the description box below. Thank you. Go in and take a look. Woohoo! This is the Casita. Super cute. Super cute. So I'm going to come over here and uh, turn around and let you see the front door. Now that's the front door, you guys. You got a, a nice window next to the front door. You got a nice large window next to the front door bringing in natural light. This is living room actually has a ceiling fan which i absolutely love in here because you can keep the air flowing even with the windows open and you have all of this space for your living room now this living room actually has a nice size couch coffee table and two end tables so look at all the space that you have in this living room and these aren't miniature furniture pieces you guys this is is a uh, regular size coffee table in here so really nice then on this wall you can put your TV you can put your TV right there you have space for a table and two chairs you can even have a slightly bigger table if you like and four chairs and kind of put it in the middle is what I'm thinking or you can put add an island in here and put it in the middle so very nice this table is next to the window can you see coffee or breakfast in the mornings super cute i absolutely love this space like this is all that you need really nice we're gonna spin around take a look at your kitchen now this kitchen has a lot of storage space that's the first thing that I appreciate about this kitchen. It has a lot of storage space. You've got cabinets underneath. You have a nice large sink in here. 
You have a dishwasher in here. You have open shelving in the top as well as cabinet space up there. Really nice. You, you've got lots of room on your countertops. And then look at all of the storage that you got over here in this refrigerator. And this isn't a mini fridge, you guys. This is a regular size refrigerator. You've got uh, pantry space over here. Look how much space you have. One, two, three cubbies. And then you have all of this space down here for whatever your needs are. You've got cabinet space up there. And then you have more counter space over here and you have three drawers even a pot drawer under the bottom so really nice super nice i'm gonna do a spin really nice and just let you see everything you have in this open space so really lovely i'm going back toward the front door and this is everything you have in this open space. You even have a washer and dryer in here, you guys. So right across from this cabinet and counter space here, you have your washer and dryer. So you have a stackable washer and dryer here. And then it, you walk into your bedroom, you have, look at all of this space. This is your bedroom in this tiny house. That's a queen size bed, room for two nightstands there. You have a window in here and you even have a desk area over there with space on top for hanging clothes and for storage. Really nice, really nice. Then you have all of this storage space over here. You have drawers and shelves, cubby holes, just lots of space for everything you need. Like my husband and I both could utilize this space. Got his and her closet space and I like how they tuck it behind here. So it keeps it neat, but at the same time, you have lots of space for your personal items. Really nice. So his and her, or her and her, however you do it, cause I would probably take up all of the space. And then you have drawer space over here. It looks like, I'm not sure if a drawer goes there. I don't think so. I think it's just open space, but you've got two drawers, two closed cabinets, open shelving in there. And then we'll get a closer look at your desk space and additional storage space up top. Your electric box is behind that door. But like this is a huge, huge bedroom when you think about a tiny home. And it, it also has a ceiling fan in here. How lovely is that? Now I know you're wondering what the bathroom looks like. So we're gonna spin around and take a look at the bathroom. Now coming in, you have your sink here. You've got drawers cabinet space on the bottom as well as a cabinet space up top you can use for maybe like medicine cabinet or toiletries just whatever you choose to use it for but you've got two spaces in there you've also got a nice window in here let's see if it opens okay so it looks like it may push out but i can't really tell from here even if it doesn't, it's nice to have a window. All right, so you've got this space here, your toilet there. Then next to there, you have this huge shower. Now, when I tell you this shower has lots of space, I'm gonna show you. This is the shower space, you guys. And you even have a place to sit in here, a comfortable place to sit in here. like. I don't feel pressure on this sitting area. I can sit for real and I'm not hanging out of the shower. You got a really nice space in here. You've got sections in here for your toiletry. I mean, lots of space. This is a, a clipboard and I can put fit two of them. So you can line this up with soaps 
and shampoos and different things like that. And your shower space, you can even take this off and wash your hair, etc. So really nice. Love, love, love this shower space. How nice is that? Behind the door, you can hang your towel there. You've got a full length mirror over here for when you get dressed, you can see what you look like. And behind the mirror, you've got storage space. Really lovely. Really lovely. Very nice. So this is the Casita. It's 419 square feet, you guys. It's a 12 by 38. Okay, I'm gonna share with you some features of this home. Um, for as far as exterior goes, you have a choice of three roof colors, seven countertops, four cabinet colors, five flooring options, five wall colors, and four accent walls. So you can really make this home into what you want it to be. You also have a lot of features in these homes. These are HUD approved. So just like a manufactured home, they go through all of these inspections. Uh, I know HUD inspections, like 250 inspections, right? And so you can really put your trust in this being a good solid home for your family. What I appreciate about it is even though it's considered a tiny home, there really is enough space in here. Me and my husband, my husband and I, or however you say it, we could live in this home comfortably. So very nice. So if you're interested in the price, this home is $53,900 plus tax. You get a complete home, beautiful features. Hope you love viewing this tiny home. And if you're considering it, come on out here this uh, facility, this tiny home facility is in Kennesaw, Georgia. All of the information that I have will be down in the description box below. Hope to see you in the next video.